Stony Ridge. Hey guys, it's Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to Farm Vlog number 11. Woo! I got a new fuzzy mic thing, and the fuzz is sticking down here. It's to keep the wind down, and I've got to trim it. No more fuzz, I think. It's all in my mouth. Vlog, son. Uh, son. Gonna have some fun on the farm, son. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta go feed and water the piggy. Oink, oink. Guys, we've got a bit of a challenge today. We've got to catch the pig. Got to catch the pig and bring him up to his goat buddies because he's looking depressed. He needs some friends. We got to move him up there with his goat buddies so he can hang out and have his friends back. So while I was filling up the bucket of water, I realized I've got to wet my wood down. I got some wood from uh, in a previous video. Boop! Right here it is. So I got some old barn wood in a previous video. Pow! Right here. I've been trying to get that wood all straightened out. And the way I've been straightening it out is wetting it and letting it settle. So, so far so good. It's starting to straighten up a little bit. We're going to make a rack for it and lay that old barn wood out so it will straighten itself out and we can utilize it in our uh, projects. So all I'm doing to straighten this wood out is just wetting it down good. That's my worst piece over here and it's straightening out pretty good. It's still pretty twisted but when I got it it wouldn't even lay it wouldn't even lay straight it would just fall over so for the past two or three days I've been wetting the wood down probably three times a day and trying to make it settle down if anybody else has any awesome ideas on how to straighten this wood out let me know I, I would love to hear it we're gonna go down here and put the water in the pig water he's already waiting for us you waiting on me little buddy my little friend Sure, sure was thirsty. All right, next we've got to go get our big coyote trap, and I'm going to put some uh, grain in the coyote trap and try to draw the pig in so that he'll go in the trap, and then we'll carry him up and release him with the goats. I hope it works. Now that our goats are up in our middle field, we got to be hyper vigilant about keeping them watered. So every trip up, I'm going to fill up some buckets of water and take them up there to them. It always gets me. You might not have heard it, but when I went to start my gator this morning, it died again. I start it and it dies. Right here is my comprehensive review on the John Deere Gator. I think you'll understand my opinion of this machine after you watch that review. Alright, let's get this trap. See what I'm talking about? Farm trash. We've got to clean this all up. We're going to put a rabbit cage uh, area down by the garden so that we can uh, grow rabbits and harvest the manure and harvest the meat from the rabbits. This is a man's trap. I forgot how big this thing was. So this is a pretty awesome trap. It's got a little door right here. It's really made for coyotes. This door is so that you can put bait in here. Uh, you can even use like a live chicken, which would be pretty cruel, but um, this is a... Uh, coyote trap apparatus put a rabbit in there or a chicken or whatever to draw in a coyote I don't know if I have an opinion of that I tell you what when 15 of our chickens came up missing I bought this trap and you can bet your butt I tried to catch a coyote but I didn't it seems everybody was out of water today Here you go. 
There you go, guys. That's happy chickens. Hey, kids, why do you think Josh wears a stupid orange hat? Because it's cool. It's cool. Let's go check on the goats, ma'am. So, as you can see, the goats are doing awesome up here in their new field. Yeah, I got an acre and a half to eat right now, so chow down, guys. They're not going hungry anytime soon. We're going to give them a little scoop of grain so that they stay tame and come to us when we come up to the gate. What's that, guys? Black gold. So this field right here is kind of the worst little area that we have on the farm. It kind of won't grow grass so well. It won't grow crops so well. So we planted grass seed on it, and we planted clover seed on it, and now we're going to let the goats eat it down, stimulate growth, and put manure down for us on our field so that this thing will get rehabbed back to a good field. Basically this field's laying fallow. So the, so the goats are chowing down, we got their water full, we're gonna see if we caught the pig. I don't think we have. It might take a day or two to catch him, but we'll catch him, bring him up here so he can be with his friends. Next order of business for today is to go ahead and get up some firewood and take it to the shop. We're going to get the shop all warmed up. I've got my uh, hot rod truck in there. Anyway, the brakes are really bad on it, so I took the rotors off, had them turned, got new calipers, new lines, and we're trying to put that back together so we can utilize our entire garage. That thing's been sitting in there for about four months now, but my motivation level to get that done has been fairly low. So let's get up some firewood. If you haven't ever gotten up firewood, there's just a sense of pride that you have after getting up a big stack of firewood and um, warming your house or warming your shop or whatever. It's just a sense of satisfaction. Gathering firewood has traditionally been what the family does together on the weekends when you homestead. And it really bonds the family together. It teaches you, it teaches you how to stack it, how to think ahead. You know, if I lean it too far this way, it's going to fall over if I don't stack it this way. Kids learn that way, they learn responsibility. Parents learn that way, they learn how to teach their kids, which is important, learning how to teach your kids. So, I encourage you to take your family on a weekend trip if you don't live on a farm or if you don't live on a place like this and get yourself a load of firewood. There's no bigger smile on a seven-year-old boy or girl's face than riding back in on a big old stack of firewood, riding on the back of the truck, bouncing. It's awesome. Okay, here's a little tip on firewood stacking. When I get done uh, getting my wood off of the top of the pile here, I, I turn up the bark side so that my split side stays open to the air. And if it were to rain, it sheds off of the bark side. I don't know if it really helps, but I think it does. It helps keep it drier. All I use in the building here is this little cart right here, a little garden cart. And it helps to keep the firewood dry and store firewood inside here so when I want it, I can have it. Now you see it empty? Done, baby. So I looked down in the driveway just now and saw the FedEx guy. He's an idiot. I told him, look, dude, you can turn around right here or you can go to the end of the road. It's like a quarter of a mile. What he did is he backed up three quarters of a mile. <laughs> okay, anyway, whoop, got us a package. Awesome, awesome. I got this hat on because my ears were cold and they ain't cold no more. So, woohoo, Stony Ridge hat back on, all right? What's come in? It says it's from... Great Basin Seed. Awesome. Great Basin Seed. So, if you guys want to see me plant anything in the garden, just send me your uh, seeds. Uh, message me. And uh, if you got something you think's cool, you save some seeds back, you want to send them to me, send me a message. I'll give you my address and uh, you can send them to me. I'll plant them in my garden. It'd be awesome to check them out. So, Great Basin Seed Company here. Got some uh, wildflower seeds. Check it out. Awesome. Uh, I got a coupon code 10% off my next web order, which is pretty rad. And I got uh, haystackmountain.com flower seeds. So, thanks a lot, guys. That's pretty cool. Honeybee wildflower mix. This is one pound of wildflowers. Rad. Like I said, guys, if you save back some seeds and you want to send them to me and see them grow in my garden, get some coverage on there. Let everybody else see what kind of stuff you got. Send me some seeds. Send me instructions. Tell me what to do. I'll grow them for you. Woo! Guys, here's my little hot rod truck. Pretty awesome little truck. I thought it was cool. Kind of unique. So, 
That's what I was talking about a little earlier. So guys, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Thanks for watching the vlog again. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me some thumbs up, comments, whatever. If you got anything else you see me using, you want me to review, go for it. If you want to send me some seeds, I'll plant them. I'm planting seeds right now in your mind. I hope you're learning something. hope you're having fun watching the show. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. We'll talk to you soon. Woo! I forgot there's a little bit of music at the end of this. <laughs> We'll come on down to Stony Ridge, bring your wife and bring your kids, we're living life pure and sweet, that's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Thanks for watching. From Empty Gator to...